For many years, the leaves of the kratom tree have been used in Southeast Asia to treat aches and pains. Here in the U.S., it can be purchased in the form of a powder, pill, or tea, and it doesn't require a prescription. According to the American Kratom Association, there are three to five million people who have used it in the U.S. alone. Research that's been done indicates that people are using kratom to help alleviate chronic pain, to treat mood disorders like anxiety and depression, and in some cases to help wean themselves off of opioids. But the U.S. Food and Drug Administration says kratom is not just a plant, it's an opioid. And they warn it can be dangerous, even fatal, associating it with more than three dozen deaths. In addition, the Centers for Disease Control says it may be tied to a recent salmonella outbreak, and at this point, they're recommending people not consume kratom in any form. Consumer Reports also has concerns because, like any supplement, kratom is not regulated. Any given kratom product can be grossly mislabeled. It can be laced with other substances, including illegal drugs or prescription medications. And it can interact with other medications that you're taking in ways that are really dangerous. The Drug Enforcement Agency has listed kratom as a drug and chemical of concern, and at one point wanted to put it in the same category as heroin. LSD and ecstasy, essentially banning it for consumers. But the American Kratom Association argues that making the substance illegal could drive more people to prescription painkillers or illegal drugs to treat their symptoms. The organization says they'll support appropriate FDA regulations to ensure the safety and purity of Kratom, but not a ban. The DEA is currently reviewing data and public comments. Um, but it could still be several months to a few years before they render a decision. And in the meantime, Consumer Reports really feels that given the lack of regulations, it's better for consumers to avoid this product altogether. Kristen Z, ABC7 News.